function is just a rule which maps one set of objects to another. So for example I might map a group of people to their favourite colours. I've got four people here, James, Claire, Ricky, Ellie. Perhaps uh, James's favourite colour is, uh, is green, maybe Ricky's is uh, blue, Claire's is red, and uh, Ellie's is yellow. And uh, the function then is actually uh, this rule that maps the people to their colors. If I called the function, you know, f say, uh, you might say that, you know, f of Claire uh, is red. You could say that f of Ellie is yellow, because when I essentially apply this function f to Ellie, I get yellow. It's saying f, which is the favorite color of Ellie, uh, is yellow. Uh, another example of a function might be to take those uh, same people and map them to the third letter in their in their names. Say so, so. James would become uh, M. Claire would be A. Ricky would be K. Uh, and Ellie would be uh, L. So if I called this function uh, G, say would have G of Ricky uh, equals K. Uh, G of James is equal to M. No particular reason to use G here, it's just a, a letter to denote that particular function. So the third letter of James is M, the third letter of Ricky uh, is K. Just to introduce a bit of notation, the set of things that we put into the function, here it was names of, of people, these inputs uh, say, um, this set, i.e. all of these together, James, Claire, Ricky and Ellie, is called the domain of the function and the set of possible outputs of the function is called uh, the range. So uh, I can take any element in the domain, put it into the function and I'll get out an element in in the range. And if we extended this domain to be all different names of uh, people then the range would be all the different letters uh, in the alphabet. For any letter in the alphabet you could find some name that would have that letter as its, as its third letter. And in this example, if you do the same thing, you know, the range here would end up being uh, all, all different possible colours. And we can also have functions which have, uh, you know, mathematical rules and, you know, and apply to numbers. So it might be that, you know, I could take the domain of a function to be sort of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, and actually, uh, you know, this function might, say, be a, a doubling, a doubling function. So actually 1 would be mapped to 2, 2 would be mapped to 3. Sorry, sorry, 2 would be mapped to 4, 3 would be mapped to 6, 4 would be mapped to 8, 5 would be mapped to 10. And maybe I'll call this function uh, h. So, you know, we've got h of 4 is equal to 8, and h of 2 is equal to 4. This just means the number doubled is 4. So the thing in brackets is what's going into the function, and out over here we're getting uh, the output of the function. One really useful way of thinking about functions is, is as, as a machine. So actually that last function we had there, just doubling, I could think of it as a as a machine that takes values as inputs and then, you know, outputs something else. It's the machine is doing something to that input and producing an output. So again, let's keep the name for this uh, machine as, as H. So actually when I put in, you know, uh, th 3 into this machine, what comes out of the machine on the other side uh, is 6. I put in minus 4, what would come out on the other side would be minus 8. And for mathematical functions it's really useful to be able to, to write down you know, what a function does in general and we think about then what happens when I just put a general value x into the into the machine, so what would uh, h of x be? Well if it's a doubling machine, if I put x in, whatever x was, what I'm going to get out is 2x, so uh, h of x equals 2x. And this one then, uh, h of x equals 2x, is a bit different from the previous uh, rule of functions because this one really actually defines the function, it defines the rule of the function. Um, you know, whatever we put in x, we get out 2x. Whereas these are really just instances or examples of the machine applying to a particular value. So actually, I could define another function actually then by an algebraic rule. I could say, you know, f of x is equal to 5x plus 7. So what I'm thinking of there is having a machine uh, which uh, takes an input and gives 5x plus 7 uh, as the is the output. So um, 
that's I think it's five x five x plus seven. So actually, if I did f of three, that would be uh, that would give us five times three plus seven, which is uh, twenty two. If I did f of zero, that would be um, that would be uh, five times zero plus seven, which is just seven. Notice actually here I've got to put in a number, otherwise this doesn't make sense. So you know, uh, so the domain and the range here uh, both include just numbers, not like the previous functions where I could put in a name or a color. It wouldn't wouldn't make any sense with these uh, sorts of functions. And these sort of algebraic mechanisms can also uh, help us to answer uh, some problems to do with the function. So I could say, um, you know, for example, for for which value um, of x or which value can I put into the function, which makes the output the same as the input. So actually, when is it that when I put a number into this machine, 5x plus 7, what comes out is exactly the same as the input? Well, uh, the input is x and the output is 5x plus 7, so that would be equivalent to solving x equals 5x plus 7. When is the input equal to the output? So solving this we get uh, 4x equals minus 7, so x equals minus 7 over 4. And we see if we were to um, put that uh, into this function machine, we just check actually, well, 5 times minus 7 over 4, uh, that's minus 35 over 4, and then we need to uh, add 7, um, so let's put that in here, uh, and 7 would be 28 over 4, so that's again when we add those fractions together we get uh, minus 7 over 4, so we have found the uh, input that does give uh, that input as the output for this machine. So a uh, really useful way of solving problems there. We're going to think in other videos a bit more about functions uh, and, and more complex examples, but the key thing I really want to take away here is that the function is the machine itself. Okay, so it's not the it's not the values you put in or the values you take out. That's the domain and the range. Uh, the function is the rule. Uh, you know, it it, it, it it tells you what the machine is actually doing, how it transfers inputs into outputs in general, not for any particular case.